we come back to Toe Jam, who is deep in thought. He's pondering about where that last Earthling could be. He shines his bling in a fruitless effort to come up with something. And then a voice pierces his mind's eye and whispers, What you seek is but a stone's throw away. So Toe Jam threw a stone. And lo, little Trixie Dixie putting in Prixie was there. And she's probably going to escape because of this damn bubble fungus. There we go, I got it. Ha 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 This is all I have to show for. Minutes of calibrating. Thank you for allowing me to leave your level, game. I appreciate everything that you have done for me. Why am I speaking like this? Ooh, what's over here? Hell yes. Oh, the hyperfunk zone. Let's fail this again. It would probably do me well to memorize this place, but I mean, really, has anyone ever really memorized the hyperfunk zone? I think I'm going to fail this perpetually. It's never going to stop. I mean, I'd like to have it done before the end of the Let's Play, but it's just it doesn't seem very likely. This is an insidious minigame. Look at this. I am a dis- ah, I'm a disgrace! I'm a disgrace to the hyperfunk zone and gaming in general. Because I have the reflexes of a sloth whenever I play it. Let's get this sack of crap off my planet. And fire my load into the cosmos. That's right, I said it. Let's go, Mr. Fraggle, I don't have all day. Yep, anytime you're ready. Excellent. You can see Toe Jam's butthole, or his butt crack, anyway. Toe Jam poos! Toe Jam poos. I wonder what his poo looks like. It's probably like bunny pellets. That was a very, that was a very es esoteric thought. You know what else is very esoteric? Floating cows. I should invest some money in some sort of a science project, a research division for, for floating cows. This, this bubble probably won't help me one bit. And now suddenly there's a teleporter down there. This game is sadistic. <laughs> this game is horribly sadistic. No one deserves that. What, what the hell? That whole part was just designed to make me look and feel like an ass. Mission accomplished. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That lady, bunch of dogs, Lamont, Jamal, Latrell, Williams, get in. The jar. Oh, and I still have super jars. Did they, uh, did they carry over from the, uh, what am I doing here? Did they carry over from the last level? I sure hope so. That would be, that would be marvelous. I probably won't be that lucky, though. I swear I can make this jump. I can make the jump! I can't make the jump. There's no way I can make that jump, so I'm just going to bubble fungus my way up. Like they did in the old times. I hunted 46 pounds of meat, but could only carry 12. I was gonna say flelve, but that isn't a word. Oh, this game just hates me. You know what? Forget it. Okay, forget it. I don't even care. I don't care what's up there. I clearly do, which is why I keep doing this. Last try. All right, forget it. Let's move on. I'm sure all those presents are full of crap anyway. <laughs> and now my torture is complete. I'm just, I'm aghast. I'm aghast at all of this. Oh, why did I do that? Why? Why? I'm gonna have nightmares about this. With that background. I don't even know what that reminds me of. It reminds me of, um, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like, the really old episodes. Never mind. Just ignore me. Ignore me. Don't even listen to me talk. Close the window. This is, this is a lost cause. And I always, I always fail in the second level. Hi, Bluna. She certainly looks like a Bluna. Either because she's balloon-shaped or be Never mind. I'm not going there. 
That was a that was a fellatio joke, and I decided not to go through with it. Welcome to my creative process. Have a seat. Great Funkopotamus. He is the Funk Master General. A selfish Funk Master General. Can you believe this fat sack of crap talking to me about Funkatron with her three eyes and her constant stuffing of her face hole? I'm back here again, aren't I? <laughs> you <f> <laughs> okay, let's keep going. If I had to write a novel, this would probably be my opus. And that was embarrassing. Let's keep moving on! Chillin' Fields will be much nicer to me. I can feel it. There will not be any bullshit. Nope. No bullshit here. None whatsoever. No jumping through hoops for 900 points. I feel much better. Oh, crap. I don't get to keep my super jars. Oh, Jesus! Why are there so many people? I warn you, this game is not for, for anyone with social anxiety disorders. Eventually you will all fall victim to my my anger, my rage, my feelings of deep-seated remorse and abandonment. I don't even know what that was. Oh, it's the thing. Jesus, how many people are here? This is not very chilling. I'm not feeling chilled at the moment. I'm feeling actually a little stressed. A little stressed here, fairy jackhammer asshole. Oh! <laughs> all right. It just doesn't end! Ah! Floating cow! There's dogs and black kids and floating cows, oh my! Alright. I'm gonna make heads or tails of this eventually. Oh, that's right. That is correct. You lose. You lose this day. This is a day of losing, and you are the losers. Alright, there's a president here. I like presents. What did this accomplish? I'm aware that there's something up there, but I can't reach it. Or can I? If you hold down and then press the jump button, you do a high jump. Can you believe that? I just released a secret. Hate you! This is the annoying photojournalist guy's wife in her Sunday dress. Oh, you are a bitch. You are a bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Alright, we're not done. We have not rid ourselves of this human menace quite yet. Quite Chet. Where are you? Oh, it's another one of these dogs. How did you escape me? How did you escape my quintessential eye? The eye that sees. With eyes. Unclouded by hate. Insert another Princess Mononoke reference, and eat some ice cream. I got 400 points for just plummeting there. These judges clearly have no qualms about a poor performance. What about that guy with the five eyes? What do you think he's thinking? Why is he squinting? With five eyes, you'd think it, his vision would be exemplary. Join me for more zany observations as I land on my head. All right, Toe Jam, let's just go with this. Let's talk to this fool. Hey, talk to me! Why won't you talk to me? There we go. Man, Smoot! All right, what you talking about, Smoot? Let's have it. Well, thank you. You know, I've been working out, actually. Been pumping iron. Well, now I feel like a dick. Thank you, Smoot. Lamont. Lamont the Funkopotamus, of course. <laughs> How could I not know that? You don't have any hair, Smoot. I think he was just blowing me off. But I'd, like to, I'd like to weigh the, uh, the reality of, of someone named the Funkopotamus being any type of sensitive. And I'll do that in the next video. Join me, Pale Voyager, again.
as I speak in short bursts on the next episode of Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. Goodbye. <laughs>